Hi, Jeremy Yang here. I'm an informatics PhD student at Indiana University and a biomedical data scientist at the University of New Mexico and Data to Discovery, an IU spin-off company. All co-authors are from these three organizations. NIH programs LINCS, Library of Integrated Network-Based Cellular Signatures, and IDG, Illuminating the Druggable Genome, have generated rich open access data sets for the study of the molecular basis of human health and disease. Links expression signatures provide unbiased transcript omic and genomic experimental evidence. IDG provides compiled and curated knowledge for illumination and prioritization of novel drug target hypotheses. We believe that together these resources can support a powerful new approach to identifying novel drug targets for complex diseases. Integrating links in IDG, we built KGAP, Knowledge Graph Analytics Platform, for identification and prioritization of drug target hypotheses. This open source project was a collaborative effort involving software developers and scientists. This schematic diagram illustrates the integrated knowledge graph and logic. From links experiments, gene expression signatures quantify the effect of small molecule perturbations on a diverse array of cell lines. IDG associates drugs with diseases via approved drug indications and facilitates rapid and in-depth drug ability evaluation for associated genes. The IDG resource Drug Central from UNM is a compendium of compiled and curated knowledge about drugs approved by the leading regulatory agencies. Drugs are approved for specific indications, a clinical condition for which the drug has been proven effective and safe by clinical trials. In addition, Drug Central includes compiled and curated drug targets for which a specific biochemical mechanism of action, MOA, has been elucidated and published. KGAP employs drug central drug indications to represent a disease via associated drug set. KGAP also employs known targets from drug central to assess and validate results. KGAP was implemented using the Neo4j graph database free and open source community edition. Our lead developer for the graph database was Joel Dirksen. The KGAP algorithm for drug target illumination is as follows. A disease query is mapped to a drug set via drug indications. Optionally, the drug set may be filtered by atomical and therapeutic classification, ATC, for biomedical coherence. In other words, and in general, we are more interested in disease modifying drugs and less in drugs which relieve symptoms. From the drug set, a query on the knowledge graph generates scores and ranks for associated genes by aggregating paths of gene expression evidence. Finally, we compare the results against the known targets for the same drug set via rock curve, receiver operator characteristic. Our graph analytics algorithm's lead was Chris Gessner. These validation rock curves for Parkinson's disease use two variations of the graph analytics method and MOA or all known targets. These results show enrichment between the aggregated expression profiles from links and the independent knowledge sources of the literature corpus. This agreement supports the inference that since our method can independently rediscover known targets, it is capable of discovering new targets. Parkinson's disease continues to inflict severe harm on human health and resist traditional research approaches. Parkinson's is complex in its polygenic etiology and in its clinical presentation and progression. Parkinson drugs were the analysis starting points and associated genes were evaluated as target hypotheses. Specifically, IDG resource 10X, Target Importance and Novelty Explorer, was used to rank and filter KGAP results. 10X is a bibliometric tool defining importance and novelty from mentions and co-mentions of diseases and genes in the PubMed literature. One high-ranking but understudied gene, synaptogyrin 3, was manually investigated further by the molecular biologist on our team, Jessica Binder, as a case study and plausible new drug target for Parkinson's disease based on published experimental and theoretical links with statin drugs. A prototype web UI was developed, Lydia, Links IDG Drug Target Illumination Application, built with the open source Flask framework. Here's the landing page and Lydia output for the Parkinson's query from our paper. Our web application developer and recent Indiana PhD graduate, Murat Ozturk, did a great job in learning a lot in a very short time to meet our grant proposal deadline. Team member Daniel Bieber was lead for workflow and UI testing and usability. 
Regarding next steps and future directions, if grant funding is awarded, this will support specific aims, including production quality knowledge graph, a completed Lydia, and KGAP-based research in three disease areas. We're eager to collaborate with experimentalists and medical scientists to evaluate results and extend this work. Plans for community development and engagement include involving data science students from IU and UNM, facilitating open science through an open platform to, for development and application science. We submitted a manuscript describing our research now in the second cycle of revision and review with a preprint available via BioArchive. Links to this paper, source code, and data set are available on this poster. For more information, refer to links and IDG, both large international consortia, both from the NIH Common Fund with diverse contributors and extensive public resources to offer. In conclusion, combining links and IDG via KGAP has empowered the investigation of the molecular basis of complex diseases and specifically identification and prioritization of novel drug targets. The generality of the approach indicates that KGAP is applicable to many disease areas in addition to Parkinson's disease. It's been a great pleasure to work with the KGAP team and I thank them all for their efforts and support. And thanks to the Bioinformatics Open Source Conference 2021 organizers and sponsors for this opportunity to present.